I want to explore the question that always gets asked of, of, of writers. Yeah. Where do you get your ideas? Yeah. And I know you and I come to, come to it differently. So I thought it would be interesting to... Because I don't actually know if I know the answer for you. Yeah. Like, when you came up with your idea for your food novel, mm -hmm. like, I don't know where that came from. Like, I guess you were just sitting around thinking, like, what if people were food? Honestly, I, 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 I hate this question. <laughs> for myself, anyway, because I don't, I don't know how to explain that with a lot of things. Um, because Here's the thing. I am... Unless you wanted to throw yours out first, because you're... No, 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 you, you can go first. Sorry, I, I didn't want to, like, after. take no. over your topic. No, 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 absolutely. Um, I'm a walking contradiction, mm -hmm. because I, my advice is always start with a character and let the idea come from the character. I don't know that I've ever actually really done that. I hate to, I hate to say, like, I, like, 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 I feel like I'm, um... Like like I'm like I'm giving away my my, my, my hand or my, my my secrets or something or, or like or like I'm a um, I'm a hypocrite or something. Um, I think stories for the most part should be character driven, and so I give that advice because uh, I don't think, especially for beginner beginning writers, it's a good idea to try to come up with that great amazing idea that no one has ever thought of before because you end up with with a concept over execution place, right? Mm -hmm. And so even when I start with an idea. I try to come up with a character that fits well into the the world that that would spawn, and then let that you, you know go out of that. It's usually more of like a science fiction what if kind of idea. Mm -hmm. So when I said, "What if we all turned into walking and talking junk food?" I needed then characters that were interesting. Mm -hmm. you, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But much of the time. Um, it's not like I. It's not like I sit around trying to come up with stuff. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's usually just random mm. that hits me. You know what mm. I mean? Or and a lot of it's mood. A lot of it's like I really feel like working in this kind of realm. You know what I mean? And or or like I'm just really into a kind of realm right then. You know what I mean? And so you, you know like like I guess I was doing more of the quirky cartoon kind of thing right then. And so that was just a notion that came to me. Mm -hmm. um, my best ideas seem to almost always come to me in the shower. That is that is the location. Yeah, you 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 you've told me before that you uh, you'll take multiple showers while, when you're working on a project. Yeah, which is the thing I've never told anybody else, but now I guess people people know that. <laughs> yes, um, I'm an open book, I guess. No, um, I do when I'm working. I didn't on know a, that was super secret and private. It's not, but I've, I've, it just occurs to me that Sarah's the only other person that knew that until you the other day, and now the the, the patrons. Um, but yeah, uh, when I'm working on a rewind, um, I tend to take multiple showers, um, in a day just to. Um, just to kind of, you know, focus. My 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 problem is where my ideas come to me when I'm laying down to go to sleep. Um, and sometimes I, 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 I will then I feel like I had that more when I was younger. Yeah, um, and, and, and a lot of its lines. I, I will, um, I'll, like the first line of something. Like I'll yeah. have and like sometimes I, I will write it down, or sometimes I'll just not go to sleep. And I'll, I do I'll have that re with there. rewind, where where they'll be like ideas for like uh, you know you know or, or, or just just a notion about a movie that hadn't come to me yet and I don't have anywhere to write it down right then mm -hmm. um, but not fiction as much I don't know yeah I, I, that's, that's but more of how I work with fiction is just as I'm as I'm right because that, that's the thing is I, I've always said this I think better with a keyboard on my fingers so ideas come to me as I'm Formulating a world in the first place. That's why I don't like to outline. I just do like like I'm reading a book at the same time as I'm writing a book. See, and I need to find a way to, to loosen up while I'm writing because like I can have a whole dialogue scene play out while I'm laying in bed, and it's better than whatever it will end up on the page. Yeah. Um, you just got to get to the point where those things are happening simultaneously, and mm -hmm. a lot of that is just writing enough where the way you, uh, where the way you 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 think and the way you write is no different. Mm -hmm. Um. But on my side, it's the yeah. most, like, I think it's the worst way I could possibly operate uh, as, a, as far as wanting to one day be a sellable person. Mm -hmm. Because my ideas always come from not having what I'm looking for. Um, it's a lot of times a void of something. Sure. Um, or uh, more often than not, it's why doesn't this exist? Um, but I don't know that that's that, that makes you less sellable because 
I think that's where you know a lot of the best ideas come from, and that means that you're writing for yourself. And so mm. then, the, then the question is just, are there other people that are enough like you? That's yeah. that's always yeah. that's always the question. Um, if it comes from a place of, I need to come up with something that is like other things that are big right now. It's just not going to be as creative, mm-hmm. right? Like 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 uh, like part of creativity is 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 filling that void, not just. And, and not in the sense I got to be careful because a lot of people think you have to come up with an idea that nobody that nobody else has ever come up with, with before. Mm. The idea is making it your own in the mm. first place. So the I same should, I should have another topic about that for later. Good. The same six billion topics. Mm. I mean, so, sorry, sorry. Just ideas in the first place, mm. concepts, notions um, are going to be told in stories again and again and again and again. It's about it's it's about making them fresh and in, in, in yours. Mm. You know, you know each each time a new person does one. Mm-hmm. And so when you sit down to uh, to to come up with an idea, which I also you know really really he- you really hesitate yeah. to say, but like when you when you're when you have something that you really want to write about, um, if it doesn't exist the way you want it, that's when you know it's probably the thing you ought to be doing. Yeah, and that's that's where almost everything I can't that I want get comes this, from. so I'm gonna make it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's almost the in my mind like the definition of creativity, like. That's yeah, and that's where all of my like um, I have a thing I, I I work on and off of that's kind of a Western fantasy thing, because I'm really fascinated by the idea of why does fantasy have to be medieval? Like, why is that yeah. the one time period that we are allowed to? Because there are fantasy um, westerns, but they're always historical. They're not their own world the way we do with fantasy. Um, yeah, but but, that, but that's for any time period. Like, why can't why can't we just pick any? Why does it have to be medieval? Like, why can't we? Well, that doesn't exist. That it's right there. Like, somebody needs to do that. Yeah, uh, I had that with with Bright. Like, I'm so glad Bright's coming out because that's a thing where I'm just like, why is no one done? What happens when Tolkien gets to modern day? Yeah, because it's always and a secret like, society. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like y- yes, we do that, but with something like Harry Potter, we we don't allow it to be the norm. No, no, it has to be part of history. Like the way. It's treated in there. Like I've always wondered, like, why do we always have like hidden civilizations? Why isn't it? Why aren't orcs and goblins and things like that treated the way they are in well, fantasy? I think part of it is because what what people what people tend to like to say is, um, we we have magic and then eventually we have technology instead of magic, and you can't have both at the same. Why not? Like like, and I think some of it is just people feeling the need to put themselves squarely in a particular genre. Like like they're like people it's are too afraid thing. to mix to mix genres. So they're like, well, if it's but but if it has technology now with science fiction at the same time, we can't have that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and but just the fact that there's technology there doesn't make it science fiction. That's the world you live I in. Also th- I also think there's this weird, maybe counterintuitive idea of, like, when you go into a fantasy book, you know what you're getting. Yeah. When you go into a book set in the modern day, they feel like it needs to be the world that you that you that you exist in. Yeah. But why? Why can't it be? A fictitious world that takes place in a world like ours. Yeah, well, why, why can't we mesh things like? I mean, this is a silly example, but like, uh, but, but like, I, I know I brought this up before, but like, bread and circuses in 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 an original series where you have um, something that looks like the Roman gladiatorial games, but it's happening in the '60s mm-hmm. when you can televise it. Mm-hmm. Like, why can't we do that kind of thing? Yeah, with fantasy, yeah. and that's and that's where most of my ideas come from. Is like, why doesn't this exist? I came up, sure, I, yeah. I can't, I came up with something that I don't think exists. And I have no story, I have no idea, I just have a word, which is cyberpulp. I want to I want to do like the shadow in a cyberpunk setting. I don't think that exists. But I also don't think it's bad if you have an idea like that uh, to then like try to create an interesting character and and, no, make, absolutely. It, and make it work. Um, I just think that if you start from just a world building place and it, the character is the last thing on your mind. It's probably not going to work. It's, it's less likely to work. Well, and that, that's I think a huge problem with science fiction fantasy. Uh, I also right don't mean now. to say that everything must be literary, but I think more things can get away with being literary than we think mm-hmm. they can. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's why that's why I like to say write literary genre stories. Well, and, and which is a term I am trying to get mainstream. It just I'm trying so hard to turn that into a to a real thing because I think because I think it is one of my biggest issues and what I kind of want to do if I ever became a writer is I really feel like like the adventure novel does not exist. Yeah. Um, one of my biggest problems with 
Like, I've always talked about, like, my search for Star Wars. I'm always looking for a book that's like Star Wars, and none of them are even Star Wars books, because they're so <laughs> political or military-driven. Yeah. And they're about tactics. I'm like, no, just let me go on an adventure in space with a bunch of cool aliens well, and sword fights. Why do so many Star Trek novels have to be about wars? Yeah. 